buffer strips, no-till farming, and reducing the use of crop protectant products in the fields. These are all steps many Virginia farmers have been using for decades to keep their land and waterways healthy. But unless they are paid for by cost share funds, farmers had no reliable method of registering these voluntary best management practices, which are seen as a major element of the state's water quality improvement efforts. After two years of development, a resource management plan program will take effect July 1st. The resource management plan is really kind of a different approach than what we've taken in the past. Uh, the main thing is to get farmers to use a high level of conservation practices or best management practices. And what this plan does uh, gives them a new incentive, uh, it would basically give them a certainty that uh, during the life of their plan, the implementation of their plan for nine years, they would be assured that they are in compliance with water quality standards uh, associated with uh, Chesapeake Bay and other local uh, cleanup plans. Certified nutrient management and certified resource management plan developers will be available beginning this summer to help farmers interested in the program. It's the first of its kind for any state in the Chesapeake Bay watershed and hopes are high that this program will make a significant difference for Virginia's farmers and the future of the state's waterways. We've got farmers doing nutrient management plans now, doing soil and erosion plans now. Um, what we're simply trying to do is kind of bring it all under one umbrella. Uh, but down the road, what we'd like to have 10 years from now is we'd like to have a, a database that shows widespread adoption of best management practices uh, by our farmers and hopefully uh, 10 years from now our, our waters will reflect their efforts. The new program will not only encourage expanding conservation practices statewide, it will document the practices already in use that could provide verified data to prove the positive impact of the agriculture community's conservation efforts. I think that when we get into this process, we're going to find a number of farmers who are doing 75, 80 percent of everything that they possibly could do, and we're going to help them identify that next 15 or 20 percent um, and, and help come up with a plan to move forward with that um, so that we can, we can look at the environmental community and say we're continuing to make progress, but we can also thank the farmer for his or her efforts and, and again give them some regulatory assurances for the future. Virginia resource management plans will be effective for nine years with compliance inspections every three years. Farmers will enter into a plan agreement on their own. No law will force them to sign up. Uh, at this time, the best way to get information on it is to go to the uh, DCR website. We have information there. We can put you in touch with one of the uh, resource management plan uh, specialists we have on site. All the new plans will be drafted by resource management plan developers, meaning farmers can feel assured that they will be dealing with someone who understands their needs. It's a win-win for farmers and the environment. Reporting in Richmond, I'm Sherry McKinney.